Hello everyone, welcome again and in this demo, I'm going to show you demonstration of a REST API project in Spring Boot and which is online movie ticket booking. So uh, this is the backend and we will run uh, the APIs from Postman from here. So what are the available APIs in the, for the movie booking system that is save theater to get the theater list, update theater, delete theaters add movies get movie list update movies delete movies and book a movie ticket and get the booking detail so these are the apis and which have a post gate for delete and for all for all three modules so three modules are there the first one is a theater module and then movie module and and another is booking so this is your runner class here and after that Okay, for the backend side, it's using MySQL database. So there's a database MySQL and it has these tables. Now, from the technical side, it's using a Spring Boot for the backend and to handle the entities, it's using JP repositories and to save the data. And these are the structure here. We have a controllers, entities and repositories. Here we have repositories. So let's run the project and follow this demo. So if you already bought this project from CodeBun and the remote team has done the setup, then you need to follow this demo in order to operate this application, uh, order in order to operate this backend. Okay. And if you want this source code, you can connect with us over the WhatsApp or over the mail. You can buy the project from us and don't worry about the configuration and setup. We will do the complete setup and I will give in this state. Uh, in your machine and after that you need to follow this demo in order to execute the APIs. So I'm going to run this uh, to in order to run uh, this application what you need to do let's just go open your uh, runner class here the main Spring Boot class right click on it go to run it run it as a Java application it will start the Tomcat server uh, here and the backend will be available on a specific port number and currently it's by default set as a 8080 so it will run on the 8080 in your case as well if you want to update the port you can update it from the application or property file here and the next thing after running this when you see this message tomcat is started on port number 8080 after that open the post number postman and open the api let's operate one by one one uh, api one by one and let's see the output Okay, so here in our theater table, currently we have two records and some demi records. So we have entity CD address, image, theater name, and type. So let's add some more data here. So I'm going to add the uh, theater name. I suppose I'm going to say Inox and CD. Let's say indoor uh, multiplex. Yeah, type it can be multiplex address. I'm just adding a demi address over there image here it's asking for the image path where your image is stored so i'm just adding a image path here some dummy path so let's say i'm going to add this one only. okay so i added this and uh into in, 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 into the body section so when you open this postman it will look like this so where you need to enter the data into the body section and make sure here you have selected just and format when you hit the sign button it will say uh, the data is sent it and uh, data is already sent it. You can see the status is 200. Okay, and the new record is this now if I refresh my database You will see the data is entered here successfully now if I go <coughs> and want to check the theater list so just open this API and Here into the body you don't need to put anything and I don't know why it's there so uh, I just click on the same button it will give me list of all the theaters let's be in, in, in a json format so currently we have three records in our database so the all three records are shown here and but even this body is not required to it in, in, in this api so if i without body if i send it it will give me a list okay so save theater is done get theater is done now let's update some data so in order to update the theater what you need to do this is your api url and if you if you already change the port number in your app backend so make sure you are adding this port number into the api as well okay in order to update the theater you need to pass the id of theater so let's suppose i want to update the theater number three 
okay so, uh, so we need to pass the id and what's the data that we need to update so let's suppose i want to change the update uh, name as a rupee and cd is with more e and some random text some random data over there for other fields when i hit the same button it says the data is updated and this is your new data so let's check if i refresh the data you can see that data is updated also if i go back and check my data list it will display here the updated data for that particular id so we can update that particular record over there and <clears throat> here and to the delete theater we can add the theater or uh, delete the theater for that let's add some more data so i just add the theater name and update it same now we have a four data into the database into the theater list okay let's suppose i want to delete this one only. so i go here into my api and i pass the id so let's suppose i want to delete three or four so i just need to enter the id in the url i don't need anybody so i just add the like four as id click to send and it says success means the data is deleted now if i check the theater list now there will be only three records so if I go here and refresh my database, my newly added data uh, data is gone. Similarly, uh, to add the movies, what we can do, um, we can open the API, go to body, add the movie detail, and we can add the movie over there. So if I uh, send this request, and this, it, it, it will give me a message like this API is added. So if I go to the movie, and if i refresh it it will display me data like this okay now let's suppose add more movies so i'm good i'm just adding the random data you can add the meaningful data so i just update the movie name and okay here is the cost price and image url and the id let's suppose i'm going to send the id to we can id can be auto generate and we can send them manually as well so we can update the id auto generate as well so you can see the newly added data is also added over there and uh, as movie name also similarly we can get the movie list here and uh, we can uh, here where it is we can update the movie so in order to update i need to update the data from here we can delete the movie we can move book a movie ticket so in order to book the movie tickets what i need to do i need to update the record uh, from here the order amount paid amount pay status and theater id movie id so this field will define on which theater which movie you are going to book and the user billing info first name last name and all the details when you have hit this uh, sign button it will book a ticket uh, and after that you can take a user list here or like uh, you, you can take the user list of the user that's going to book a ticket so into database also you will see you will get the data here so this is your order id this is your or the detail by the user okay uh, if i want to talk about the technically as handling the controllers so controllers are there this controller is going to connect with the services and with a with a with, a, with, a, with a entity layer and will send the data to the masker okay it's only backend it's a maven project following form.xml and following embassy architecture so thank you so much for watching if you need the source code please connect and don't worry about the configuration setup we will provide complete setup at your machine and it will work same as source in this demo